All right, boys and girls, so here we are back with uh, super therapist Leanne and Dr. Nikita Visniak, and we're going to take you guys through some nerve pathways of the lower extremity. There's only three major nerve pathways you have to know, obturator, femoral, and sciatic nerve, and then all the distribution and branches, they go off of there. So hopefully, this will make this job a lot simpler for you to follow and be good for your board exams or even just regular exams you have in class. So let's go ahead and start nice and simple. We'll go ahead and start with the femoral nerve. So the femoral nerve comes off of spinal levels L2, 3, and 4, and is going to run down and come through under the inguinal ligament and come through into the femoral triangle and basically send branches off that go all over the place on the front of the thigh. If it is a muscle on the thigh, that is going to be supplied by the femoral nerve on the anterior side. So we're going to see things like vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, rectus femoris are all going to be supplied by that. And it sends off multiple muscular branches through there. The other thing you have to realize though, and this tricks a lot of students, they forget about this, the femoral nerve sends off a branch that is sensory further down, all the way down to here that comes behind the medial side of the knee and is going to be called the saphenous nerve. Not to be confused with the saphenous vein. They run in the same area, but the saphenous nerve supplies mainly the L4 spinal level right in this region right here. If you have a lesion of your femoral nerve, what do you get? You get weakness in hip flexion a little bit, you get weakness in knee extension, you might see a loss of a patellar reflex, and you get numbness and tingling in this L4 level right here, or L3 dermatome, or L2 dermatome in that region. So femoral nerve, good for you to be aware of. Let's move on to the next nerve. The next nerve we need to know about is the obturator nerve, and the name tells you what it actually runs through, but to start with, the same thing as the femoral nerve, what did it come off of? L2, L4. Yep, L2 to L4, L2, 3, and 4. It runs off and goes through your obturator frame and it immediately supplies the adductor muscles, so medial thigh muscles. And that'll be both cutaneous and motor innervation. So that's going to be adductor longus and brevis, part of adductor magnus, as well as pectineus a little bit as well. And it's going to give you cutaneous sensation over the medial side of the thigh. That's obturator nerve, L2, 3, and 4, relatively simple to follow. Next nerve we're going to talk about is a sciatic nerve, and this is a big deal, so let's make sure we understand this one well. First thing is, we'll have Leanne spin around so we can see from the back how this one runs. So the spinal levels that make up your sciatic nerve comes from L4, L5, depending on who you read, all the way down to S3, potentially. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's good, okay? So sciatic nerve is coming from L4 to S3. And it varies a little bit with anatomical variation. So what do we have to understand? That it comes off of this sacral plexus running down. It comes through the greater sciatic notch. And then it's going to come out usually, although there is variation here, in about 85% of the population, it comes out below piriformis and then runs down the posterior thigh along the midline. Once you get into the back of the knee, and I've done hundreds of cadaver dissections, you'll see it divide anywhere from here to here. It's going to split into a tibial nerve and a common peroneal or common fibular nerve, depending on the nomenclature you're using. So the tibial nerve continues down in the posterior compartment of the leg, supplying all of these muscles of the posterior compartment, superficial and deep, and it runs behind the medial malleolus where it splits into a medial and lateral plantar branch, and it's supplying the corresponding region of the foot as well. The other part of this nerve is the common fibular nerve. It runs down, goes branches laterally around the neck of the fibula, and then we'll split into two nerves. And the two nerves it splits into are the superficial and deep peroneal or superficial and deep fibular. So the superficial fibular nerve is going to stay in the lateral compartment and it's going to wind up supplying the fibularis longus and fibularis brevis muscles as well as cutaneous sensation over top of the dorsum of the foot. The deep fibular nerve though goes into the anterior compartment runs and supplies all the muscles of the anterior leg and is going to run through and supply cutaneous innervation between your big toe and second toe. Kind of a unique innervation right there. That should be a good simple summary for you to understand nervous pathways in the lower body right there. And of course we're putting up some pictures here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thank you very much for your time.